Well, we're at Chapel Point in Lincolnshire. I'm with Colin Davis, who's the county councillor here. Um, Colin, I understand that you've got a, a, a big tourist um, project coming up here. Uh, absolutely. This is the site of what we hope will be the new uh, North Sea Coastal Observatory building. Uh, we've got planning permission already sorted out for yep. it. We are currently in the funding round with DCLG through the Coastal Communities Fund to get the project funded. So uh, I think this is an exciting project and alongside the restoration of Gibraltar Point's visitor centre down the coast. That took uh, a battering in the storms didn't it? It certainly did. It yeah. had a real battering uh, and the visitor centre was in Gulf of Water. Um, so this is part of a package of a, a big bid to, to, to Coastal Communities Fund and we think this will be the jewel in the crown. It will be the gateway to the new coastal country park which the County Council is developing just oh, yeah. north of here. Yep. We've already invested £2 million pounds in that. Mm -hmm. um, this will be a real driver for visitors for tourism but also for out of season visitors who are really interested in the green tourism agenda. Course, this yeah. is a massive coastline in terms of bird watching, the seals at Don and Nook, which brings 100,000 visitors in October and November right. to our coast. And you know these are great opportunities. Yeah. Coastal tourism is worth half a billion pounds a year to the national is it, economy. Is it really? Absolutely. Good. And I, I know, of course, the A46 uh, coming up um, has been dual carriageway now all the way up uh, past Newark and so on. Uh, are you finding that's having a, an impact? Absolutely. In investing in good infrastructure is an incredibly important thing that government can do. And in the future they need to do more of that because it really is bringing more visitors to the coast. It's going to double the value of our tourism in the next 20 years. So this coastline will contribute a billion pounds to UK PLC. So it is a sensible investment. Big schemes for infrastructure to deliver real benefits. Like Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what. When it's all been built, presumably it's been another two or three years' time, I'll come back and we'll stand here and we'll talk about how it's going on, okay? Absolutely. I look forward to treating you to a nice meal in the new visitor centre. <laughs> Fantastic. That's very kind. Thank you very much, Colin. Thank you.